I'm Darren with Action Esports, and this is Action Recap, the show where we highlight various ongoing stories within the Overwatch Esports community. So now that Dallas Fuel has a few wins under their belt thanks to changes in the meta with Mickey coming into his own on Brigida and new coaching staff revitalizing the team, many people have been wondering what the future has in store for Effect. Last month, Hasbro mentioned that the team would be letting Effect take a break, extending into Stage 4, giving him the option to return from Korea at any time. In a recent stream, Effect addressed rumors of him potentially leaving the Fuel and a quick update on his current situation. I'll leave a link to the full translation to what Effect said on stream courtesy of one of his mods, but here are a few key takeaways. First, he assures his fans that he has a more positive outlook compared to when he was in LA with the team during a period when frustration was mounting with every loss and feeling helpless despite trying his best to create change. Secondly, Effect stated that he will not be leaving Dallas Fuel and plans to make a return for Season 2, but will set out Stage 4 because he isn't needed now with how Brigida has shaped the meta. Quote, to be honest, when leaving the US, I was like, I'm quitting pro. I can't do this anymore. It's for the best of me and my team. I just wanted to go back to Korea and do music again, but my team said that I was a really good player and am still very young. I thought about it for a long time during my rest, and I changed my mind back to being a professional player. Now for our next topic, the Los Angeles Valiant parent company Immortals has become the first esports organization to partner with the sports-focused LBGTQ advocacy group You Can Play. For some context, You Can Play is a social activism campaign that was launched in 2012 by NHL Director of Player Safety Patrick Burke with the goal of eradicating homophobia in sports and has been supported by many renowned figures in the NHL and MLS. The goal of the partnership is to create an inclusive environment for all players, coaches, fans of Overwatch, and in all of esports. In the press release, IMT and LA Valiant CEO Noah Winston said, quote, For too long, the esports industry has been unfairly characterized as a toxic, unwelcoming environment. This assumption runs counter to the core values of the Los Angeles Valiant organization, and our partnership with the You Can Play project further cements our dedication to making the LA Valiant an inclusive community. The message is simple. No matter who you are, who you love, or what gender you identify as, if you can play, you can play. The LGBTQ organization will hold diversity and inclusion training for the LA Valiant players and staff. The squad will film a You Can Play PSA and the group will have a presence at LA Valiant events. In 2020, You Can Play will facilitate Pride Night events at the Valiant's home arena. For our last story, the Overwatch World Cup 2018 committees for all 24 participating countries have been finalized after voting came to a close last night. After tallying up the votes, Blizzard has announced the members of each country World Cup committee, which consists of a general manager, team coach, and community lead. While general managers were handpicked by Blizzard, the coach and community lead roles were open to a more democratic process. The coaches were decided following a two-phase candidacy, and the voting process opened to the top 150 players of each participating nation. I'll leave a link to the main site where you can check out who was selected, but for Team USA we have Scott Bearhands Tester, former NYXL general manager as the GM, Dallas Fuel head coach Aaron Arrow Atkins as coach, and Enelin Dang, Los Angeles Gladiator social media manager, was voted in as the community lead. As for the United Kingdom committee, we have Tom Stylosa Stewart, the popular Overwatch YouTuber, and London Spitfire UK consultant who was handpicked by Blizzard as the GM, Philadelphia Fusion coach Elliot Hayes, and Overwatch streamer Philip Chipsa Graham as the community lead. Unlike previous iterations of the World Cup, committee members will receive compensation for their efforts, with travel and housing covered for teams. The committees will be tasked in the coming weeks with player selection, team management and promotion. Trials for the World Cup begin on June 1st, and World Cup rosters must be submitted to Blizzard between June 15th and July 5th. So, did your country make the cut this year for the World Cup? And if so, who do you think should be drafted for the World Cup team? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share as it really helps out the channel quite a lot. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with all of our content, and hit that bell to stay notified. This has been Darren from Action Esports, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.